Fitness Studio. Um, I don't even know what episode this is. I think it's episode five. What's today? Today is two, Tuesday, the 29th of September. Um, already about to go into October. I was 224. So I pretty much was the same. I should have dropped, but I didn't get enough sleep. I ended up going home. Getting to start doing stuff, couldn't turn my brain off, couldn't go to sleep. So, where I probably should have woke up at around um, 2:22, actually woke up at 2:24. So we're gonna try it again tonight. Uh, listen to my body, and I took a little two-hour nap today. So um, hopefully everything is back on track, um, and I'm hoping to be 2:22 in the morning. Um, where I should be. And then once I get to 222, I should be back in that fat loss zone as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. As soon as somebody see, like a lot of y'all, y'all may start doing something. Y'all may start getting results. And then the first thing, everybody around you um, is like, what's your meal plan? What you eat? How much you eat? How many meals you eat? And for the most of them, sorry, folk, they just trying to get a free meal plan. They just want you to coach them. So they figure you did it, you fully understand it now. That's what they assume, and now they want you to, you know, it's just like, like when people don't take you serious as a trainer, and that's like not what you do for a living for real, the first thing they say is when you start getting results is, boy, okay, I see, I see. I, I need to work out with you. Which means they want somebody to train them for free. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, why well, I am, people don't ask me that no more because they take me seriously because I'm serious about my craft. But when you're in the beginning stages or if you're just on your own weight loss journey, like if you're watching this and if, if you, I think I feel like it's natural because everybody does it, so it's probably natural. But just know if you ask some, if you see somebody getting results and you say, hey, I want to work out with you. If that person they done a whole bunch of stuff to get to where they at. And you're going to come in and be in the way and talking and blah, blah, blah. You're going to turn them into a trainer. And they're going to be like, hey, well, this is how much I charge. Because that's literally how I got started. People were asking me to help them, help them, help them. And that's all the rest of it. But anyway, get sidetracked. But all of this is facts. Um, so, yeah. Um, what another person is eating to get their results has nothing to do with you. Um... I'm literally a bodybuilder. Of course, I'm not a professional, but I can be classified as a body bodybuilder. Like, I am 200 and some pounds. Um, solid. And as far as I'm concerned, my metabolism is trash. Um, I know, so I'm 5'8", 220, 220 and change right now. I know of females that are like 5'2", five, 5'3", five, 130 pounds that can eat way more than me, do no cardio, and still like get lean long as they train right. So imagine if somebody who is um, the same size as me asks her for her meal plan who has the same metabolism. So let me change that. Imagine another person just like me, um, they have decent muscle mass, but they're just one of those people that gain muscle real easy, but they still fed at the same time, still got a gut and everything, but they never really got into the diet part, and now they want to get the diet part right. They literally could ask her what they should be eating, and because she's not a coach, she's just going to share what she eats, and it's like 1,000, 1,500 calories more than what, the guy that's the same size and same build as me um, needs. So he's going to be in a surplus and he's going to gain weight. He's literally going to get fat eating what she eats. So hopefully that's a good analogy or paints a good picture of what I'm trying to say of like when you ask somebody what they eat you have not the slightest clue. Unless you've done research. If you've done research then cool. Um, but you have not the slightest clue of their habits their cardio um you can work out like somebody works out you can eat the same amount of calories but if you don't have the same 
busy job like they have, that could be a major factor. The same stress level, that person could have no stress. You got kids, you got this, you got that, and you got a crazy stress level that could change, and your body's always changing. So like, as your body composition changes, as your your lean mass changes. Um, hope I won't cut on my face, because I'm trying to look in here, but hey, my bad if I did cut my face off, because I ain't... I ain't got time for it today. I am not, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not editing. I'm redoing this. It's hard enough for me to talk anyway. But yeah, well, you basically could get the total wrong direction. And of course, they can just tell you and honestly believe it's work because it worked for them, but it does not mean it's going to work for you. And every time you lose weight, imagine, imagine if you were, so let's just say I uh, started at 230, I get down to 180. The things that I did at one at 220 is not going to keep me or maintain me um, at 170. I have to adjust and observe what gets me there and what keeps me there. And then if I want to rebuild my metabolism, it's a whole nother steps. So I'm not trying to get too deep, too technical in this one, but just you got to kind of have that mindset. Just like when I have new clients, I start them off and I try to have them to track their eating with my fitness pal for at least about a week or so. I use that to get a, a baseline, a ballpark range of where they're eating. And then I use um, other formulas in my fit, um, calculators and stuff like that to compare the two um, and give more um, accurate and accurate recommendation based off where they are. You know what I'm saying? I may need to build them up. I ha I've had to literally get people to eat more to start losing weight. Um, of course, a lot um, on the other side of less to lose weight. But depending on where your metabolism is, you can be very big with a slow metabolism. You can be small with a high metabolism. So you have to take everything in consideration. Um, the more muscle that you build. That's why um, so women say, men lose weight so fast. Typically, it's because they just have more lean mass, more muscle mass. Even if it's a chubby guy, he could have that muscle underneath. So that muscle requires more energy, more calories burned. So that's kind of like helps. So when you, when ladies, when you when you build your legs thicker, you know, you get a little extra mass on you, a little extra weight to carry around, thick fit, that's gonna help you burn more calories. So you possibly could eat more than you used to to maintain the same weight which is how some women can get that thick fit. They may, they may start losing weight. They may lose five pounds and not lose any more, but they're losing inches. They're gaining lean mass and blah, blah, blah. So I think what I'm going to do to try to add some value today is run through like a little of my fitness pal, um, like a mock-up day of eating. I'll probably give, do like some example numbers. See if I can do a screen record, I guess, or something of how I get to it. And then um, go from there. I ain't really thought this out, so it might be might be kind of janky how I do it. I might just have to screen record it on my phone. But I got to get the video out tonight by tomorrow so I can post in the morning. So I'm going to do what I got to do. So excuse the quality if it's a little janky or something like that. All right. All right, so here is a sample of macro numbers. This is... Uh, what I would have for myself, you would have for yourself, or say, for instance, my clients, I would give them numbers, and the numbers would look just like this. I give my clients a little more. They could actually have a whole meal plan sample with everything written out, but um, the, this is the main thing that you really kind of need to understand. Um, you need to understand that these numbers will always add up to the right amount of calories if you're on track, and you could be eating the right amount of calories, but if you don't have this um, break down, you might not be getting the best results. Right, so you need the protein for the build muscle, maintain muscle, carbs for energy, and fat for your overall health, and also that's that slow, long-lasting energy. So now you're going to see me do a um, mock-up of me using my fitness pal to hit those numbers as I would do for myself when I wake up in the morning or you, a client, or whoever would do. Um, once you receive these numbers and get the, these numbers from whatever calculator you use and this kind of example of how to go in my fitness pal and hit those numbers all right i'm gonna go through this pretty quick um, this is the home screen just go in and then you hit breakfast lunch or dinner depending on what you want to add i really don't pay it no mind i just look at it as meals not breakfast lunch or dinner 
and you search for whatever you food you want it's not too much you can't find in there um, unless it's like something homemade all you do is search the item pick the serving size serving size make sure the quantity is right some people have saved their own um, numbers in there for an item that they probably custom made so um, if you do see a green check look for that green check um, outside of that everything should be straightforward um, I just tell people to just go in and put in what you plan to eat and don't stress the amounts at first and just put everything in and then go to the nutrition tab and see what you have left um, have left or how much you've went over and then make adjustments from there yep so as you can see I just kinda had an idea just jot it down the, what the meals would look like and now I'm just going in and putting them in and after I get done I'll check out my numbers and see if I need to make any adjustments so I always tell people if you make your own numbers then just use my fitness pal as a calculator if you have don't have any coaching or direction or don't like go and use one of the macro calculators then I would say it's perfectly fine to use um, my fitness pals recommendations but if you get direction from two different areas then it's going to be kind of contradicting and confusing Uh, and if you can see how quick I'm rolling through this, that's because the I've figured out the things that help me hit my numbers easy. So all those things are still in like the menu in the library. Um, once I go back in, so I really don't even have to search it. I just kind of drag and drop, um, not drag and drop, but um, just kind of click on the foods that I've already selected. It's kind of already in there. So yep, you can see the calories here. Go back. The main thing. So we got 118 protein, 109 carbs, and 23 fat. Um, plus or minus 500 fat. So I'm actually not gonna worry about it because we've been cooking with the like olive oil or something like that. But I'm gonna adjust the protein. And I think I might. That's the only thing I might adjust, I believe, but we'll see. Yep, so I think I'm just go back into the chicken. And I, and I had all the um, meals with five ounces of um, chicken. So I'm going to just change it to four and then look back and see what I got. Let's see what we got. 102. Close enough for me. If I was getting ready for a show, I definitely would be more anal. But if not, just regular life, I think this is close enough to those to those numbers, especially if you're consistent. It'll be easy to make adjustments in the right way. Alright, it's got two eggs, scrambled, two whole eggs, two whites, oatmeal. And the meals are basically um, chicken, rice, and broccoli same and then the ones in the in the evening with no carbs got the banana and that's the ball game okay that was a quick little run through of me doing um my fitness power to hit my numbers of course i those were random numbers so they were for me they would definitely be a lot more than that um and for the average female too with a healthy metabolism with a decent metabolism anyway typically going to be um definitely more than that but of course you know what I'm saying that's kind of the thought process so sometimes I tell people like of course when you first start it's gonna feel like an extra job it's gonna be more than you're used to keeping up with but with consistency and figuring out figuring out what works best for you you figure out what foods what work best um, to hit your numbers and stuff like that um, then it's really simple like you can literally wake up in the morning and do that within just a few minutes of course for most people or the, most people that I come in contact with that's not as realistic because you have to have the time to cook or prep or know exactly where you're gonna be eating so if you're not able to come home in the middle of the day or you don't have that flexibility then you gotta prepare for success or you gotta prepare to, to fail um, so yeah um, then on another one then I do like how did I come up with those numbers or like say for you what would um how would i come up with the numbers for someone else or how can you come up with the numbers for yourself so yeah all right it's another episode of the fourth quarter 
Um, it's the fourth quarter of the year, straight like that. Um, a lot of people um, went up this year. A lot of people went down this year. Um, but it's a lot of opportunity. So it's, it's up to you whether you're going to win the game or you're going to lose the game. And you might as well win the game so you ain't got to start over from scratch. You want to you wanna build upon this year from next year. Um, and especially even, even myself after stop being a procrastinator and you know what I'm saying? We tell ourselves, oh, the year is over. I do look like, I do look at it like the um, the year is over, but I use that more so as a figure of speech, if not literally. I have plenty of time. Um, I know my capabilities. I know what I'm capable of. If I just have, like, if I could just find some extreme focus, I could do years' work within this last fourth quarter. Um, and, and everybody else can too. So, yeah. Um, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you want to hear about on this journey. It's 224. You know what I'm saying? The road from 230 to, let's say, 180. Um, definitely 190 for sure, but I'm going to say um, 180 is the goal. So we're on a journey from 230 to 180, fourth quarter, 100 days to the new year from when we started. Um, all right. See you all tomorrow. Peace out. Thank you.